Hey guys, Nui here, and welcome back to another episode of Build Theory. Um, this week will be a little bit different in terms of my uh, video schedule. Um, I will be doing two Build Theories this week instead of a Build Theory and a Build Midway. Um, the change coming about because my two next Build Theories are both are both um, streamer streamer um, inspired builds. Uh, I will be doing two streamer inspired builds this week. Uh, so that's why I chose not to do a build midway to show off any um, builds that I personally made. I'm instead going to be um, displaying two builds that I made um, based off of uh, watching a couple streamers go and their kind of enjoyment of the game. I created builds inspired by what they were running and what they're doing. So that's what this week is going to be devoted to. Um, the first one of that will be my uh, Sybil Q Lightning Strike build. Um, so Sybil Q is a streamer that I've recently been watching. Um, she does fitness streams as well as um, she does some gaming streams. So I picked her up and she was watching. Uh, she was playing through PoE and she was leveling a um, Lightning Strike build. So I decided to um, take that lightning strike skill and then modify it to kind of my playstyle and that basically create a build inspired by her and her experiences with lightning strike. Um, if you guys have ever hopped into her stream, you will know that she she adamantly loves lightning strike and everything with it. So I decided to take it and see just how far I could stretch it out with my imagination as far as my kind of build crafting ways. So the first thing I want to do um, about that is discuss lightning strike itself. So that's why I am here on uh, Path of Exiles Gamopedia.com and I have lightning strike the skill pulled up. So lightning strike first off is a physical t is a melee attack with um, lightning damage as well as projectile damage so those are its four augments which as you guys can see is projectile attack melee and lightning um however this skill is a little bit unique in that um, the initial melee hit works off of lightning attack and melee damage however however the projectiles that come off of the initial hit work off of lightning attack and projectile damage so it's kind of, it can be scaled kind of two ways where you can heavily lean towards the melee hit and heavily lean towards the projectile damage um, so basically the skills, uh, numbers, damage numbers are here, so you'll get, uh, it deals 130 to 175% of base damage, um, 50% of physical damage is converted to lightning damage, 4 to 7 additional projectiles, projectiles deals 25% less damage, um, damage over time caused by projectiles deals 25% less damage. Now, the way the skill works is that it infuses your melee weapon with electrical energy as you swing, in addition to creating some of your physical damage to lightning damage. The stored energy is released from the weapon as a projectile as you strike, flying out behind your target to hit further away enemies. The projectile cannot miss if the melee attack hits a target. Now, the great part of that is that when you are, um, when you, as long as your first initial melee contact mates, or your first initial melee hit makes contact, the next projectiles will automatically hit targets behind it. So, it's great for clearing and it actually can have pretty good clear speed. However, um, if you focus on the projectile portion of that, it can actually lower the, um, your single target DPS. So, you kind of almost want to find a balance between the initial melee hit and projectiles. I, on the other hand, don't really want to do that. I feel like uh, you don't need as much damage to kill mobs um, as far as just clearing areas. However, boss damage is a little bit different. Bosses have higher HP, but they also hit very, very significantly harder. So it's more focused on... I want to focus on that single target DPS aspect. So I'm focusing my build will be related to... The actual initial hit and then the extra projectile damage is just excess uh, damage so because of this damage conversion um I actually took into account that damage conversion conversion as well as the melee damage as well as all that so I'm gonna switch over here now and go and head over to um, path of building so that you guys can see what my build is going to look like so heading over to Path of Building, um, as you guys can see, I have all these builds ready to go. I haven't released all of these yet, but more will be on the way. As you can say, this is my this is my little addiction is constantly making new builds. So um, heading into my Sybil Q Lightning build. Um, first off, first and foremost, it will be a Templar build because she was running Templar. I decided to take her idea and hold on to that. So this will be a Templar build. Um, I'll be using the Inquisitor um, Ascendancy Trap. So. 
heading over there. Um, these are my my planned Ascendancy trails. So I will be going uh, Augury of Penitence, um, Righteous Providence, uh, Inventable Judgment, as well as Instruments of Virtue. Um, so if I break it down, I'll probably go for Instruments of Virtue first. I will then grab Augurants of Penitence on my Cruel mode. Uh, cruel, cruel, um... Ascendancy, and then lastly, I'll grab Righteous Providence on my um, Merciless Ascendancy, and then uh, as soon as I get the chance to do Uber Lab, I'll head in there and do Inventable. I'll finish that up with Inventable Justice or Inventable ju Inventable Judgment. Wow, <laughs> don't know why that was so difficult for me to say. That's that's what I'm looking for as far as Sunny's Tree. Now heading over to um heading over to my Skill Tree. I start out with the Elemental Damage. Um. The lightning strike skill does not get rewarded to you until, or, or cannot be acquired until level 12. So, um, it's specific to be specific, well, it's not level 12, it's um, specifically after the Sirens, Sirens Cadence quest. You can pick up lightning strike, but before then you kind of just have to run a couple of different things. And you can actually have a couple different options. Um, I chose Freezing Pulse because it just has a nice... Uh, a nice range so I can just kind of run through and some running elemental damage is my first couple tree nodes it's um pretty it's pretty easy to use um you can also run like glacial hammer or something like that just to get through the early portions of leveling before you actually get your lightning strike um but heading through my tree I just take the elemental damage and then head through melee damage and then grab this melee and grab retribution um now, the spell damage on Retribution will not actually affect Lightning Strike, however, the melee damage, attack speed, as well as strength and intelligence cannot be avoided, so it's it's kind of just, it's there. And then I head up to the right, um, through the uh, intelligence grid, um, and pick up Faith and Steel, and this entire node here, which gives me nice uh, all res, as well as maximum energy shield and armor. Um, and then I head up here, I've got all the entire ring of Galvanic Camber. So I'll get all the increased elemental damage with maces, um, because I will plan on using scepters as well as one hand, uh, one handed scepter as well as a shield. Uh, scepters themselves give you the elemental damage uh, implicit mod, so that's great. And then you can also get attack speed and cast or attack speed off of them as well as just physical damage. So that's overall the best choice for me in terms of this build. Um, so I'm grabbing that entire ring, and then I head up here and grab the extra health ring from here. Um, this also gives me Chaos Res, so it's just a nice little bonus for that. Um, heading down, I grab Discipline and Training, so I have more life. Um, also grabbing Precision, because I need the attack speed, as well as the extra accuracy and dexterity is nice. Um, the difficulty I had when I created this build is it's very difficult to actually get dexterity nodes as far as the um, Templar tree is in itself. It's not very, very significantly close to many, many dexterity nodes. There's a couple here for like 10, and then you can grab, like if you really wanted to, you could grab um, expertise or something like here and grab extra dexterity. But you're you're kind of well out of the way of dexterity nodes, which typically are starting to head over here as well as over here. So that was my difficulty. So you'll probably, and as far as my build, you'll definitely be needing like a dexterity necklace at least. Um... And I'm pff, somehow I managed to get two intelligence short. So if you can pick up two intelligence somewhere, <laughs> that'd be great. But um, heading back into the skill tree, I'm grabbing this entire elementalist ring. So again, more elemental damage, more elemental res. Um, I'm grabbing the catalyze ring, so I get the increased elemental damage with my attack skills. Um, this is an once again lightning strike is an attack, and it also deals uh, lightning damage. So elemental damage will go great there. Um, and then I'm heading over here and grabbing the Devotion node path so I get the extra max life as well as the extra strength and the uh, reduced cost. And then I'm running, heading down here, picking up this entire ring which grabs me all my blunt instruments, so all my maces damage. Uh, maces count as a, um, scepter, a scepter is qualified as a mace, um, so this also will augment my damage there. Uh, and then, um... Heading from this tree, we head over here and pick up all the el our extra elemental res as well as some extra defenses from our shield, um, as long as we are holding a shield, which is why I said I'm doing a one-handed holding shield. And then I'm heading through here, 
picking up the Shaper Shaper keynote as well as this uh, Ash, Frost, and Storm keynote for more elemental damage. Um, I'm taking the entire ring of health from the Path of Warrior and, and Scion tree here as well as the Berserking attack speed and um, increased elemental res from Sentinel as well as this whole ring of elemental res. Um, and then lastly to finish out my tree I'll be going Born of Fight and all of the Heart of Warrior nodes for all the extra health there as well as Warrior's Blood and all of the um, extra elemental res from diamond skin and everything over here uh and then i'm also just grabbing some extra health and armor from there as well as some extra health and armor or extra health and some extra all res from this tree as well um i'm also grabbing some nice physical damage here through this tree and then finishing off with my bone breaker as well as my skull cracking for the last of my mace damage physical damage so that's how my tree spans out and if i zoom out a little bit I uh, can I zoom out a little bit and get it all yeah there we go if I zoom it all out there you go that's the full branch out uh, that would be at a level 100 now in my build later build midways and build recaps or build reviews I will show you what my tree actually looks like uh, as far as like finishing up uh, act 5 and stuff and then heading into finishing up act 10 and heading into map I'll show you how my tree actually fully branches out and how it kind of will look towards that way. Um, but this is kind of a max max character level build, so it'll be a little bit different than how it is here. However, this is what I am fully envisioning as far as lightning strike and everything involved with it. Um, so I didn't take any uh, skill gems in this one. Um, some of my builds have skill gems, so, or not skill gems, jewels. Some of my builds have jewels and some of them do not, and... Um, you guys are free to tweak the build a little bit and definitely add some gems. Um, there's definitely easy ways to add gems. To be honest, you could, uh, enti almost entirely annul this, uh, portion here. In this whole portion here, and just grab some gems here, here, grab some gems, uh, here, grab a gem here. There's plenty of places for you guys if you want to prefer the extra gem nodes. And then you, all you have to do is simply run a dexterity intelligence necklace and then you'll still be fine in terms of stat points and everything like that. So it's pretty simple for you guys to tweak this build a little bit more to your liking in terms of if you like uh, skill gems and everything like that. But uh, this is how I see my lightning strike build playing out and this is what I would do in terms of my tree and everything like that. Now, heading into my skills, um, first off, my uh, lightning strike build, my lightning strike uh, it takes there, and then I will be doing physical lightning. So what physical lightning does, um, it transfers more of my physical damage to lightning damage, so more, more so, uh, I'm already getting a natural 50% from um, lightning strike itself, so I'll even do even more lightning damage overall from that, then I'm taking elemental damage with attacks, and melee physical damage as well as elemental focus and multi-strike. Uh, now for my actual four link, I will probably be just doing lightning strike, uh, physical to lightning, elemental damage will attacks, and um, multi-strike. And that will be my four link. And then as I get my five and six links, I'll be doing uh, melee physical damage as well as elemental focus to round that out. Um, as far as auras go, I will be running uh, Herald of Ash as well as Hatred. Um, Hello, Ash uh, takes 15% of your physical damage and adds it as extra ma as extra fire damage. Um, and then I will be going Hatred, which takes uh, 30 to 40% of your um, physical damage and adds it as extra cold damage. So more elemental damage on top of already that um, lightning strike itself. And then I will be going Templar Shield with a uh, Curse on Hit, as well as Elemental Weakness and Increased, dura increased Duration. So Increased Duration will allow me to have a longer Tempest Shield, so I don't have to use it as much. And then as Tempest Shield hits, um, Elemental Weakness will go out onto all my targets, so that's very nice. And then Elemental Weakness will also take into account the Increased Duration. So this is getting a nice effect from that. Um, I also will be running an ancestral protector. Um, this is mostly for boss killing DPS. Uh, as far as just running through areas, it's not going to be. I won't be using it as much. But um, as far as bosses, this will help me with boss damage because I'll do a ancestral protector, increased duration, faster attacks, melee, physical damage. Now, what you could do if you don't really care about um, 
I particularly don't want to have to summon my totems that much. That's why I run increased duration. But you could also quickly get rid of increased duration and do like an added fire damage or something like that along those lines if you want your totem itself to do more damage. Anything like that. It's really easy to customize that way, but this is my playstyle where I do increase duration so I don't have to cast it as much. And then I get the longer effect of the increased attack speed from Ancestral Protector. Uh, the My movement ability will be Shield Charge with faster attacks, just so I can just kind of spam that out. Um, and then the last thing I will be running, I will be running a Lightning Golem with minion damage, minion life, and minion totem element res. So, um... Everything is pretty much well taken care of as far as this build goes. Uh, lightning Golem, I'm specifically taking a Lightning Golem over a physical, uh, or a, not, a Flame Golem. Um, mostly for the attack speed. Um, that's pretty much my main reasoning. Uh, is it also adds Lightning Damage to my spells and attacks. So uh, that's why I decided to go with the Lightning Golem as well since I'm so much focused on Lightning Damage. Um, as far as items, I really don't have an item path yet. Um, I don't like to do items all the way out because uh, items are kind of variable to change. I don't particularly spend all my time buying any I every single item. I have items that I like in mind and I'd like to do that, but uh, I don't really have that much currency and stuff, so I end up just only getting these types of weapons so I can have like an idea of being able to what the DPS can be around and what kind of shields I could use but um I don't particularly like to span out all of my extra um I don't like to spend a lot of energy trying to develop ideal sets because I know that you you're kind of bent on getting decent amounts of sets and different gear just from random drops so it's hard to really, for me anyways, um, in my current knowledge, to really span that out. But ideally, I would like a Breath of Council, um, Carnal Sceptile. It's a lot of physical damage, a lot of elemental damage. Uh, gives me chaos damage, but um, it's not really necessary, but it's a nice amount of everything as far as that. And then an Aegis or Aurora Campion Kite Shield is really nice because um, it gives me more elemental damage, uh, a bunch of Elrez, um... Increase cold res, a uh, nice amount of chance to block, as well as some extra ammo. Um, just it's running armor and energy shield, and that's what I'd be mainly focusing on. Um, as far as everything, so that's what I'd come. If I look at the calcs, I get a lot of lightning damage. Um, a lot of lightning damage, no physical damage because all of my lightning or my physical damage will be converted over to my lightning damage. So it's not really, it's not a big deal. Um. All of this extra 50 extra physical damage will be converted over to lightning damage so that'll be very very helpful and i'll do a large amount of lightning damage and then i have extra cold damage extra fire damage just from herald of ash as well as hatred and this is what the tree kind of looks like as far as damage and everything like that and all of my items so this is my once again this will be my current lightning strike build um as far as my theoretical phase of it i'm once again, I when I actually get into le fully leveling this build out, I uh, will definitely be showing off any changes I make or any tweaks I make to the build. But so far, this is everything I have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys, uh, you know, if you guys end up um, playing with Lightning Strike, I hope you guys uh, will use my build or even think about a possible build. Um, if you guys have any tweaks or comments you'd like to make, please share. Please be sure to leave those in the comment. Um, and last thing I want to mention, uh, I will be leaving a link over to Sybil Q's stream um, in the description below. So you guys can definitely go and check her out and everything she does and everything um, she likes to play and all her fitness and all that stuff. So um, much love to her and everything she does. Uh, it's been great hanging out and talking to her in her stream and seeing uh, what she likes to do as far as the game, and that's why I created this build, because um, it's fully inspired by her and what she likes to do. Um, but I'm going to head out here, and I'm going to go do some more gaming, so I'll catch you all later. New we out.